And I just spoke with three grassroots Republicans from North Texas about Ohio Senator J.D. Vance being selected as the vice presidential nominee. And there is a lot of excitement about him. In announcing his pick on his Truth Social platform, former President Trump said, quote, J.D. has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, and now during the campaign will be strongly focused on the people he fought for so brilliantly for, the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and far beyond. Senator Vance was first elected in November 2022. He's a graduate of The Ohio State University and attended Yale Law School. He's the author of Hillbilly Elegy about his life, which became a movie. Even before this afternoon's announcement, the Republicans here in North Texas I had spoken with really like Senator Vance because he is young. He's 39, and next month he's going to be turning 40. If Mr. Trump and he are elected in November, he'll become one of the youngest vice presidents. As mentioned, he doesn't have a lot of elected experience, just two years, which is more than Mr. Trump had when he was elected in 2016. Here's what North Texas Republicans are saying within the hour. I think it's a good pick. I think... Uh, J.D. has a great narrative. He has a wonderful history. It's a wonderful American story. He's young. He's energetic. That'll be, that'll be a good choice for all of us. Uh, he's got a great biography, tremendous sterling educational credentials, signed up for the military after 9-11 to serve his country. And I think he's a tremendous election and can really help Donald Trump make that case of the American people as we move forward to election day. No, J.D. is a great, uh, great pick. Uh, if you saw the movie about his life, Hillbilly Elegy, it's an incredible movie. And it, he's a he's a, an overcomer. I, I think he's uh, the kind of person that can relate to anybody in our country, no matter where they come from. So, yeah, terrific tip pick. Senator Vance is set to give his nominating speech Wednesday night in prime time. One night before, former President Trump gives his speech Thursday night in prime time. Uh, Jackie, give us a little bit about his background. Uh, we want to talk a little bit more about the pick specifically. Why is it so important, especially this year, and what does uh, he bring to the table? Well, Ken, vice presidents are always considered important because, as we saw this, this past weekend with the assassination attempt on former President Trump, you never know when they will have to take over and become president. But everybody always says they don't vote for vice president. But remember, if the Trump-Vance team are elected, former President Trump can serve only one term. So potentially, Vance could go on and serve two terms as president himself if he's popular. Of course, the Republican primary would still be open in 2028. As far as what he brings to the table, Donald Trump Jr. spoke to CBS News in the past 90 minutes, and he said that Senator Vance is the next generation who can best embody what the Make America Great movement is all about. Not forever wars, tough border security, tariffs on goods from China and other places. So, Jack, Ohio, where the senator is from, is already a red state. How is he expected to help the ticket? Well, Karen, while Ohio is already solidly Republican, the Trump campaign is hoping his Midwest and Rust Belt biography and values will help in crucial states that they will need to win this November, battleground states that are considered the blue wall for President Biden, Wisconsin, where the Republican convention is being held, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Mr. Trump is also gaining ground in Minnesota. He needs at least one of those states, along with Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia, which he lost in 2020, but now lean Republican. So a lot going on here.